Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Sunday, May 28th, Memorial Day weekend. And you know what that means. It is time to preview tonight's AEW Double or Nothing pay-per-view as this huge pro wrestling weekend rolls on. After last night, or yesterday afternoon, I should say, WWE Night of Champions. And just a reminder, the live episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic that I did last night is now available to listen to wherever you listen to podcasts. So you can go there right now and check out that episode recapping Night of Champions. And I plan to be back tonight with a new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic talking all about tonight's double or nothing pay-per-view. And at this time, gonna recap tonight's card. Double or Nothing will be taking place live in Las Vegas, Nevada at the T-Mobile Arena. But first, Double or Nothing gets kicked off with the buy-in. And the match we will see on there will be All Ego Ethan Page teaming up with the Guns to take on the Hardys. Matt and Jeff Hardy and their substitute partner I guess you could say taking the place of Isaiah Cassidy Hook the cold hearted handsome devil himself teaming with the Hardys in this trio's match and other matches on the card the AEW World Tag Team Championships are on the line in an open house rules match. The House of Black, Malachi Black, Brody King, and Buddy Matthews defending against a mystery trio's team. Which, I wouldn't be surprised if it's the claimed and Billy Gunn. The AEW TBS Championship is on the line. Jade Cargill defending her championship and her undefeated streak. Taking on Taya Valkyrie. This time though, Taya is not banned from using the road to Valhalla or as Jade Cargill calls it, Jaded. An unsanctioned match, Chris Jericho versus Adam Cole. And as we found out Wednesday night on Dynamite, that the suicidal, homicidal, genocidal Sabu will be serving as the enforcer for this match. Which was kind of confusing at first. Because when they brought him out, they said Sabu was going to be in the corner of Adam Cole. But when they showed the graphic... And then when they advertise the match now, they're calling in Sabu, the special guest enforcer for this match. We have anarchy in the arena tonight. The Blackpool Combat Club, Brian Danielson, John Moxley, and the Ring of Honor World Champion, Claudio Castagnoli, along with Wheeler Yuta, Taking on the Elite, Kenny Omega, Hangman Adam Page, and the Young Bucks man, Nick Jackson. This one, just like the last Anarchy in the Arena match, I'm sure will probably be mostly brawling all over the arena. Lots of weapons, lots of blood in this one. They actually have already kind of advertised this one as being the most violent match in AEW history. If it is, uh, that remains to be seen. 
but I wouldn't be surprised with the guys that are in this match, especially John Moxley. You know how he likes to have color in his matches. I wouldn't mean, be surprised if we see some barbed wire, maybe some thumbtacks, broken glass, the staple gun. And you never know. Maybe somebody in that match saw Impact Wrestling's Under Siege Friday night where Steve Macklin tried to staple the mouth of PCO shut. So you never know what we're going to see in that match. Could be unpredictable. And freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy will defend his AEW International Championship in the 21-man Blackjack Battle Royal, which, as of right now, they haven't really explained very much the rules of this match. Is it going to be like the Casino Battle Royal where they have the suits and four or so at a time and or is this just a regular 21 man over the top battle royal they haven't really said just yet actually for a pick in this one I'd have to go with OC to retain and Orange Cassidy I have been talking about lately has been on a roll. Definitely one of the best champions, not just in AEW, but maybe all of pro wrestling right now. And I know he definitely has a lot of critics that don't really care for the character, especially Jim Cornette. But he has been having some really great matches defending that title against a variety of different wrestlers as of late and like I said they've been really good matches as well so I think tonight in this Blackjack Battle Royal we will see Orange Cassidy successfully retain the AEW International Championship Next up, we have a ladder match for the AEW TNT Championship. Wardlow with double A, Arn Anderson in his corner, defending against Christian Cage, who will have Lucha Soros in his corner. And next up, the AEW World Tag Team Championships. I think I, now that I think about it, I think I made a mistake earlier and called the Trios Championships the Tag Team Titles, but the House of Black are defending the Trios Championships. And in this match, for the AEW World Tag Team Championships, FTR, Dax Harwood, and Cash Wheeler will be defending against the team of the King of the Mountain, Jeff Jarrett and Jerry Lethal and they will have Jeff's wife Karen Jarrett Sanjay Dutt and Sanam Singh in their corner and Mark Briscoe will be the special referee for this match last Wednesday night on Dynamite he slapped uh Everybody involved except for Jay Lethal and uh, Cash Wheeler. I don't think he's at him, but as of right now, looks like he'll be calling it right down the middle fairly. I see FTR retaining in this one, to be honest, but you never know. They could give Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal a run with the championships, but I think it will be FTR retaining. And in the main event of Double or Nothing tonight, 
the AEW World Head or the AEW World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as the four pillars collide. The AEW World Champion Maxwell Jacob Friedman MJF defends against Sammy Guevara, Darby Allen, and Jungle Boy Jack Perry. This one, I think, definitely has the potential of being a great main event tonight. Like I said, the four pillars of AEW going at it in one match. And I definitely would have no problem seeing either Sammy Guevara, Darby Allin, or Jungle Boy win this one and get a run as AEW World Champion but I'd have to say that my pick for this one is MJF retaining and still being AEW World Champion after Double or Nothing tonight like I said I definitely wouldn't mind the other three one of the other three I should say winning this four-way tonight become the new AEW World Champion but I just see MJF keeping the title he might do the heel thing and one of them has the match won or at least it looks like they do and come in the ring last second and steal the victory from him to keep the heel heat on him kind of like Stealing the victory to keep the title. I could see that happening somehow. So I think AEW World Champion MJF is going to hold on to that title at least for a little while longer anyway. And that is our card for tonight's. AEW Double or Nothing Live on pay-per-view. And so far this huge pro wrestling weekend, we have had some good pro wrestling shows. Starting with Friday Impact Wrestling Under Siege. A brutal, violent main event with Steve Macklin and PCO for the Impact World Championship. Yesterday's WWE United Champions, Brock Lesnar defeating Cody Rhodes, Jimmy Uso finally having enough and super kicking the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. And I forgot to talk about it on this episode of GMWF, but the almost uh, forgotten show this weekend will also be taking place tonight. At 8 p.m. on Peacock and WWE Network elsewhere outside of the United States. And that is NXT Battleground. Uh, Like I said, out of the four shows this weekend, that was probably the least talked about. The one that a lot of people actually forget that it is taking place tonight. So I hope to have... 360 Wrestling Fanatic live right after Double or Nothing tonight or I take that back I might wait and watch the media scrum with Tony Khan first and then go live for 360 Wrestling Fanatic and hope to have more episodes up real soon all this week and tomorrow the Monday morning episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans Hope everyone enjoys AEW Double or Nothing tonight, or if anyone watches NXT Battleground. But until tonight on 360 Wrestling Fanatic, have a great pro wrestling day.